ChatGPT, you could write essays, do my homework, and much more. So recently, I set out to survive the 7 days with ChatGPT being in command, telling me everything I needed to do. This was quite a surprising journey as ChatGPT gave some interesting advice. So, let's get right into it. I began the challenge by asking ChatGPT how to survive my first 7 days, and it gave me some answers. But before I can start adventuring, I needed to make a character. So I asked for a character build, and it came up with this. Not the worst, not the best, but it also said that I should start in a less populated area. So I chose Rosewood. I made my character and started. The first thing that ChatGPT said is to quickly search for basic supplies like food, water, a weapon, and medical supplies. It also said to clear the immediate threats around my starting house and to use curtains or sheets to block the windows. So I did just that. After that, I checked out the garage nearby, I looted some more stuff in the house, and opened the map. Here, I marked all of the garages and houses I have looted so far, with an X. I got attacked by a zombie, but I took care of him. I looted another home, but unfortunately, something terrible happened. Yeah. So I asked ChatGPT what should I do when the alarm goes off and it told me to wait and either lure the zombies away or fight them. And I chose to fight them. After a long day, I went upstairs and went to sleep. I woke up and in the middle of the night I decided to go to the fire station to get a better weapon. Inside, I found a full firefighter suit. And an axe. Now from this jump scare, I actually pooped my pants and accidentally screamed. Now I needed some cigarettes. I found some in the police station. I made my way back home and started disassembling chairs. I heard a window break and there was a zombie in my backyard. Now killing the zombie took forever because I was tired and exhausted and did no damage whatsoever. Then I started to place my water supply on the kitchen table to see how much I had. And it was actually a decent amount. I ate some cheese and went to sleep. Now these were the instructions for day 2 and day 3 provided by ChatGPT. I needed to prioritize non-perishable food items like canned goods and dry food, as well as fill any containers with water. I also needed some nails and planks to border up my windows for more protection, find a backpack for more carrying capacity, and I needed some medical supplies just in case of an emergency. So let's begin searching. The first thing that I did is start barricading my home, but I was still missing some planks, so I cut down some trees saw the logs into planks, I grabbed a hammer and nails and boarded up every single first floor window, ensuring safety. Next thing was to get a backpack, so I headed to the school where I found myself a simple backpack. I arrived home tired and exhausted, so without doing anything more, I went upstairs and slept for a good amount of time. Now while I was at the school, I also grabbed some magazines for reading, and that's pretty much what I did the next day, since all I had left to do is maybe just get a little bit more food. I decided to move my water table near to the front door, and also put a table nearby for any canned goods. There was also a little table near the bookshelf where I decided to put my medical supplies. I put down a sofa for the vibes, and worked out for a little bit since my weight was concerning. Now day 4 and day 5 was when ChatGPT told me to read a lot of books to improve my skills, mark safe places on the map where there weren't a lot of zombies, create an escape route just in case if the zombies break into my house, and explore the surrounding area for loot. Let's go. Firstly, I marked my escape route on the map with a marker. Then for my safety, I moved all the corpses to the middle of the road. I went back to the school library to pick up some skill books to read back at home. And that's all I did for the next whole day. I cooked up the most disgusting meal I could make up and ate it like a champ. I'm surprised my character didn't have a heart attack. I also didn't forget to mark the map for safe places. Now for the final two days, day 6 and day 7, ChatGPT told me to make a secondary shelter, unstock it with basic supplies, make a small garden in my backyard, and work out so I don't become a walking cupcake. I went out adventuring and found some random 
house that I decided to label as my secondary base. Then with a shovel I made a small garden for vegetables or anything that I would want to grow. I also tried searching for a car, but that went pretty badly. After all that running away from zombies, I needed to get a good rest. And in the morning, it was over. ChatGPT had successfully helped me and instructed me to survive the first 7 days in Project Zomboid. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you want to see more, like and subscribe.